All right, everyone, the problem says, which of the following species are isoelectronic with each other? And then lists a number of atoms and ions. Okay, so first thing, what is isoelectronic? So isoelectronic simply means having the same number of electrons and hence the same ground state electron configurations. The why we talk about different atoms or ions being isoelectronic tells us if they have similar chemical properties. Because if you have different elements, different atoms and ions with the same electron configuration, they're probably gonna behave most likely in the same way and that is important in chemistry. So let's look at our different atoms and ions. Our first one is just C which is carbon. Okay, so isoelectronic is just the number of electrons. So we're gonna have to look at our periodic table to see how many electrons carbon has. Looking at the periodic table, we can find carbon here, where it is element number six. So that means it has six protons, and if it is a neutral atom, it will also have six electrons. So carbon, has six electrons. Okay, up next is chlorine, and it is a negative one. So chlorine, negative one, that ion, how many electrons does it have? Let's look up chlorine on the periodic table, and we see chlorine right here, element number 17. So it normally has 17 protons and hence 17 electrons, except in this example, we're talking about chlorine negative one. So it's going to have one extra electron and that's why it has a negative one charge. So chlorine is 17 electrons plus one extra one to give us 18 total electrons. Okay, next up is manganese, two plus so mn two plus looking at the periodic table we find manganese right here element number 25 so manganese has 25 electrons but it is two positive that means it has lost two of its normal electrons so we're going to subtract two electrons and that will give us 23 total electrons from manganese 2 plus okay now we have boron minus one looking at the periodic table we see boron right here as element number five so that means it normally has five electrons as a neutral atom but it is boron negative one. So that means we have an extra negative electron there. So we're gonna add one electron for a total of six. Okay, halfway through, now we have just regular argon as an atom. So looking at our periodic table, if we find argon right here, we can see that it's element 18, and that is how many electrons argon will have because it's just a atom there is no charge so argon is going to have 18 electrons next up is zinc an atom of zinc so looking on the periodic table we find zinc as element 30 so we have 30 electrons for zinc okay now we have iron three positive. So again, gotta go back to the periodic table and find iron. Iron is right here, element number 26. Okay, now 26 electrons, but it has a three positive charge. So that means we're going to subtract three electrons for a total of 23. And then lastly, we have germanium two positive. So 
Ge2 positive. Looking at our periodic table, we find germanium right here, element number 32. So normally it would have 32 electrons, but it is two positive. So we're going to take two of those electrons away. So subtract two electrons and we have a total of 30. All right, so again, the question is asking which of the following species are isoelectronic with each other? Isoelectronic means having the same number of electrons. So looking at the work we did below, we can see that carbon has six electrons and so does boron negative one. So carbon and boron negative one will be isoelectronic with each other. We can see that chlorine negative one has 18 electrons and so does an atom of argon. So chlorine negative one and argon are isoelectronic. Manganese two positive has 23 electrons and so does iron three positive. So MN two positive with Fe three positive. And then lastly, Zinc has 30 electrons and so does a two plus ion of germanium. So zinc and germanium two positive are isoelectronic with each other. Okay, so final answer for which of the following species are isoelectronic. We have these four groups right here. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.